Only on the 19. New tonight, it's been almost one month since an historic covered bridge in Washington County, Kentucky went up in flames. They wanted to offer a reward, but they had no money. As the 19's Dennis Ting found out in Washington County, now the community is raising the cash to find the arsonist. I, I have so much trouble getting my hands around. How do you wake up that morning and say, I'm going to go burn the bridge down? Washington County Judge Executive Timothy Graves is constantly reminded of March 9th. It's hard not to be driving down the country roads and seeing piles of rubble of what's left of the Mount Zion covered bridge. When the phone rings at midnight, it's never a good thing. When I came down that hill over there, I could see the, the bridge is fully engulfed. I, my, my heart just dropped. I almost got sick to my stomach knowing that it was gone. It may have happened a month earlier, but you can still see a lot of the damage left by the fire over here. In fact, take a look at these telephone poles over here. The one closest to me that was installed recently, compare it to the one next to it, which is still charred from that fire. People got married here. People proposed to their wife or husband here. Uh, one guy told me that one of the last things his grandfather did was ride him through this bridge on a horse. Graves says after the fire, he received a lot of requests from people to offer a reward. But first, they needed the money. So now they're raising it with the help of the community. He says the Washington County Chamber of Commerce, a nonprofit, has set up a reward fund through a local bank, Springfield State Bank, where people can donate. I opened the account up yesterday and I took my personal money and put the first dollars put in before it come out of my pocket. That's how sentimental I am about this. Graves says the reward is for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the person or people responsible for the fire. The state fire investigator has not confirmed the cause, but Graves says it's believed to be arson. There was no storms at night. There was no electricity in the bridge. You know, it's, it wasn't like campfire. It wasn't like it was an accident that happened. If no one claims the reward after five years, Graves says the money will be split between two local charities. In Washington County, Dennis Ting, WHAS 11 News.